man getting busted already. into first. Oh yeah, feet are so much further back, right, gotta realise that again. And brake on the other side. Okay, wing mirror's looking good. Off we go. Body position, ah, it's so wobbly, it's so wobbly at the front. Again, compared to what I'm used to. Ah, ah, it really goes left and right, Wee. Okay, so, helmet on. Nice and tight, let's back just edging out. Foot on rear brake. Okay, let's head off. Woo! Wow. There is definitely a learning experience. Sound wise, oh, gone into neutral. But once moving, yeah, it feels Nice, oh god, it feels light and nimble after riding my bobber. Holy crap, yeah, that. You hold on to that accelerator, it really goes. Okay, rear brake is good. I think it's got such a light bike. Uh, the rear brake really, really is quite good. Okay, so practice the. Getting busted already. Oh, me jerking. Just an ambulance. The clutch lever definitely has to go out quite a bit. Quite a long reach. Maybe I just got small hands. Wow, yeah, really need to uh, bend my ankle to change gear. I know the position that I'm in. Really need to. Uh, like really pull my toes up really high to uh, change gear so that's uh, something which I'm not used to on this at all just getting used to the clutch control the first time I've ever ridden it so oh and fuck I've got to neutral again yeah so really gonna hug the tank with my legs that takes a lot of pressure off my arms just gotta keep remembering to do that. Okay, yeah, 95 horsepower is absolutely more than enough. I don't really have the balls to go too fast above speed limit. Um, but that, uh, yeah, that floor, seven, eight, nine thousand, ten thousand revs is is uh, is a ride. You're holding on. It's awesome. Uh, but again, with these things, I want to, like uh, there's a lot of pressure on my hands just now. Just want to check that. But in terms of uh, slow speed maneuvers, engine control around piss, I don't want to be here, um, around roundabouts, like feeling wise, there's no jerkiness. Uh, it's quite easy to modulate the accelerator here. Piss, but I keep on putting it to neutral. And changing gears is quite challenging by feet.
Don't know where I'm gonna go. Left or right, left or right, left or right. Let's take a left. Okay, so uh, yeah, this this is actually feeling pretty pretty cool. It's uh, it's actually fast as fudge. It really is. So uh, although I've only just done a little bit of a demo, I'm about to go hit a little bit of a faster motorway speed here. What I can say is straight away the fueling, the going slow, uh, which for a sports bike is always quite important if you're going around a roundabout and you're doing 20 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour in second gear round around about there's no on off on off no jerkiness on this you always wonder you know is that because it's a demo have they done something with the software to make it less lean in the fueling but otherwise it's actually it's running really really well sound wise i'm coming from from a triumph bobber which has an amazing sound so It doesn't have the sound for me. I definitely want to get some sort of uh, different exhaust on it. So if we hear it just now, uh, we'll turn it on. And we have a little listen. It's a wee bit rattly for me. It's all right, but then if we give it a rev. Give it another one. When it gets up into that higher rev range, that's where it really starts to sing. I'd love to hear it with a, a, like a proper pipe on the back. Yeah. It's all right. It's, it sounds all right. It's not going to win any awards on there. The looks from the front, I think, look cool. It reminds me of the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, I, love, I really like that look. I like the little holes you've got in there. Black, actually. Hold on, just shut up. This is one of the few bikes where I think black, it looks better. Well, I've seen it in white, haven't seen it in red, but the, there's a more of a continuity in the black onto the lighter gray to more black uh, going on there that I think gives it a bit of a cohesion in its look compared to the white one and possibly even the red one. The red one's just, it's just red there or the white one's just white there. This, I think, looks quite cool. And the, uh, the, the logos, the, the graphics, uh, I think pretty cool. It also just looks like a neat engine. So uh, if you've seen any of my videos in the past, I've said a lot of engines look really kind of untidy. This hides a lot of cr crap, I'm guessing. There's some pipes and wires going on in the back up there, but it looks clean. I do like the red spring for the back, uh, which has, oh, wait a minute. Wonder what level of, uh, can we even see what level? Oh no, we're on, oh, we're on the lowest um, setting for the suspension. I'm 110 kilograms. That suspension is not set up for me just now, but that's probably why it felt so comfortable. And then on the other side, it also looks pretty clean and tidy. So anyway, we'll give it another ride, although it's starting to rain, I want to avoid the rain a little bit. So on we go. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So we're getting to ride it in the rain. So we're getting a bit of a, a bit more of a real life riding experience with it. And uh, for my, so yeah, what I have noticed is my body position on it, trying to change the gear is quite a challenge. I would definitely want the quick shifter, but it, uh, I don't know what it is, but for me, it's a real kind of like, oh, I need to pull my foot really high up to change uh, the gears. And also because I'm used to, the Triumph Bobber and Bobber shaped bikes. This feels like a lot of weight on the wrists uh, here. Potentially quite a long throw um, of the clutch that I'm feeling, but otherwise uh, enjoying it. So let's just get on. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it's a small engine. You know, you've got to, got to appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try and ride somewhere where this cloud is not going. So, uh, okay, that won't work if you've got it in. Uh, no, get it into neutral. Feet stand up. There it goes. Okay, and then I'll just do a reversey. Nope, that's into neutral. God damn it. But that's, that's more my fault rather than the bike's fault, I think. Or my, what I've been used to. Definitely not the same as this. Okay, camera up a little bit. 